Eileen Donnan, or Island of Donnan, is most probably named after the 6th century Irish saint, Bishop Donnan who came to Scotland around 580 AD. There are several churches dedicated to Donnan in the area, and he likely formed a small cell or community on the island during the late 7th century. The first fortified structure was not built on the island until the early 13th century. This acted as a defensive measure, protecting the lands of Kintail against the Vikings who raided. Over the centuries, the castle itself has expanded and contracted in size. The medieval castle was probably the largest, with towers and a curtain wall that encompassed nearly the entire island. Eileen Donnan also played a role in the Jacobite risings of the 17th and 18th centuries, which ultimately culminated in the castle's destruction. The English government caught wind of the intended uprising and sent three heavily armed frigates the Flamborough, the Worcester, and the Enterprise to quell matters. The bombardment of the castle lasted three days. For the best part of 200 years, the stark ruins of Eileen Donnan lay neglected, abandoned and open to the elements, until Lieutenant Colonel John McRae Gilstrap bought the island in 1911. Along with his clerk of works, Farquhar McRae, he dedicated the next 20 years of his life to the reconstruction of Eileen Donnan, restoring her to her former glory. The castle was rebuilt according to the surviving ground plan of earlier phases, and was formally completed in the July of 1932. The castle is a popular location for films, featuring famously in the hit Hollywood film Highlander in 1986. However, is it haunted? Well, yes, according to reports. During the Jacobite Rebellion, 46 Spanish soldiers were stationed here when the castle was attacked by several government boats, leading ultimately to their death, and the castle's destruction. One of the more well-known ghosts of Eileen Donnan is believed to be that of one of the soldiers, that died that day. His eerie apparition has been seen often in the gift shop, clutching his head underneath his arm. But he is not the only spirit seen wandering this historical location. The apparition of Lady Mary has been witnessed many times in one of the bedrooms in the castle. Have you ever come into contact with the spirits of this amazing location? If so, let us know in the comments below.